Hi, good evening, and how is your weekend going? I hope you enjoy your week at the end of the week. Today, we are continuing with um, depression. We've been able to check what is depression and how it affects both gender, uh, male and female specifically, and uh, we look also at how it affects our teenagers. We have examined the causes of depression for men, and today we shall be looking into the general causes uh, of depression in women. Let me start today by saying there are different school of thought as such as uh, the causes of depression. Of course, some school of thought believe that depression has no, you know, source. There is no exact causes of depression. It's not known why uh, another school of thought posited that depression are caused by certain things. All right. So today I shall be talking about some of the things that may likely cause depression in women folks, and this is very, very important that we examine this. And of course, uh, it has been said that major depressive disorder with seasonal pattern which was previously known as seasonal affective disorder happens as season change and is most common during the winter for those who are in the north america also there is a connection between the seasonal changes and the depression for women they believe that it affects you know they are moved generally when the season is changing. Also, imbalances in the chemicals in the brain or hormones in the body, such as uh, serotonin and uh, neurotransmitters, are another, you know, cause of depression in women, folks. Another one is thyroid condition that cause changes in hormone. Uh, these are terminologies they use uh, on this line. I can't begin to break them down because uh, of time and uh, level of understanding here generally. Uh, another thing here is family history of depression. This also is common between both gender, men and, uh, men and women, right? Both uh, could have a depression as traceable to family history uh, also the way it's happened to men traumatic life events such as death of a loved one or end of an intimate relationship may cause a depression for women also physical mental or emotional abuse by friends family or intimate partners may also cause uh, depression for women. The next one is long-term illness that keeps you from doing daily tasks or being unable to walk or go to school. Long-term illness may cause a depression for women. So these are the causes of depression in women. And of course, when you make your research in so many places, uh, so many uh, read a lot of articles, you will see, you know, different, you know, causes stated out there that may trigger depression uh, in women generally. But one thing is important here that everyone, both men, women, children, whatever, you know, you belong, has no respect for where you are, you are liable to have depression if we are subjected to any of these uh, factors we have mentioned. This is very, very important. Now is the time to help somebody around you, whether, you know, they are going through PMS, uh, premenstrual syndrome, which could cause depression or prenatal depression which one that happens when a woman is pregnant or right after they have their baby 
or premenopausal depression which has to do when a woman is in the process of transmission into menopause you know this likely cause major hormonal changes so it could be it could be that also and of course uh whether it is uh other factors that we have mentioned above all of them are liable to cause a depression in uh, women i hope you are able to pick one or two things from what we have said today if you have anybody going through or showing any of these uh, symptoms around you you can help them to seek for help this is very very important because if it is not treated it could lead to another problem which we may not be able to curtail and i always tell you without mental health there is no health i hope you enjoyed today's episode of you and your mental health until i come your way again take care of yourself bye